You can also look into other options for tracking the time and having your employees uh, tied to it. You can look into the turn on time tracking option here, but we're just gonna manually enter it in the enter time down below. Now, as I enter the time, there's a couple ways you might do this. Like if I have an employee that's entering the information into their time, and I said this was like Adam Hamilton or something, then they can create their item over here. They can create their item over here. This is the customer job that they would be working on. We saw this in the prior month. When you create the service item, which the service item will be used to then create the invoice that we'll bill the client with, we can either use whatever they worked on. So we could use like the hourly rate or something like that, or we can set up a different billable item that will be charging out the time that has been worked. So we can basically bill out in other words by what they did, or we can bill out by the person that did the work. So we might say that certain people we're gonna put on jobs that are gonna be higher level jobs and we're gonna have a higher billable rate for those people's time. That's the method we're gonna use here. And we're gonna imagine that they, that they have guitar lessons. So guitar lessons is how we're gonna mirror this process. We have people that are doing guitar lessons. They're gonna enter their time, who they did the guitar lessons for, and then we're gonna bill out that time.